Yes, this baby. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another tutorial and video. In this video, we're going to be covering Data Delve. Um, this is basically a free data store editor. Now, I know a lot of you guys are curious and wondering what am I going to be doing in this video. We're going to be talking about this plugin because um, a lot of people have troubles with Data Store, and I mean this very much because I get so many comments every day that are like, oh my gosh, someone donated a bunch of money and I can't get rid of it now. So I'm gonna show you how to use this. Um, but yeah, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It means so, so much to me. Thank you guys. We're almost at 55,000 subscribers, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, so basically we're gonna go and um, you're gonna go to the description. Now, um, everything's in the description. So, you know, feel free to just uh, head down in there, get the links it's right below. It's gonna bring you to this page right here. Um, and we're gonna get this together for you. Um, I actually don't have this plugin, so I have a data store editor plugin. So if you want the real one, you can do that. This is just fine though. Like, might as well just use a free version. Why would you pay for it if there's this one, right? I don't know why things need to be paid for in this this day and age. That's why I'm making this video for you. All right, so <laughs> listen, um, pretty cool, right? Um, every method in the data store, uh, you can get all the data store items. Uh, they have their own themes, which is awesome. Um, I guess there's versions you can check. Uh, oh, whoa, okay. Create a lit. Okay, so you have a version to load. That's cool. Previous versions of a key. Uh, so if they lose their data, that's awesome. Um, they have uh, press a list to see even use finding person's user can be tedious. So I add a shortcut. Um, awesome. This looks even better than the root. Fucking sorry. <laughs> um, so okay, can you GitHub project feedback? You get on the creator store. Um, yeah. So right here, basically, um, you just click this button. Okay. You're gonna click it and you're gonna hit get plugin. Get plugin, it gives you out of your inventory. Boom, bada beam, you got it. We're gonna head right into studio. Let's hop right into there. All right, so I am in New Jago Tycoon. Guys, I literally just checked uh, a few days ago. I updated the game. It was at 8,000 favorites, but I did that tutorial that you guys should go check out, the favorite game one. And now it's at 11,000 favorites. Like, you can just bring in, rack it up. All right, so listen, data store editor. This is the real one, but we don't even need to worry about that because we're using the free one today. So you go to toolbox, um, you should go to image. Actually, no, you just go to plugins. What am I talking about? You should go to plugins and manage plugins and um, you should find it in here. So somewhere, uh, do I need to update all? Uh, let's just update real quick. Let's see what that does. Uh, nope, let's go over here. Um, let's see, data store plugin editor somewhere in here i hope okay well it's not in there so let me go back to toolbox and double check oh wait i can go to my inventory my plugins uh data delve right here install that's what you do you gotta go to inventory sorry um so now i installed it uh i don't know if i need to restart studio please don't tell me i do ah it's perfect all right so i'm gonna just put it over here for you actually you know we'll just go right in the middle what the hell <laughs> what's going on ah oh, god one second all right i fixed it sorry so basically you gotta have a data store of course you know you gotta have something so you just go into this little plugin now um i don't know so we just hit list let's just do that okay so you just do this order data store uh yeah there's a name so if you have you know the name of your data store you put it in it looks like but you can just hit list just do that perfect so we have hd admin we have tycoon safe so I'm gonna go to my tycoon safe, okay? I'm gonna hit list. Boom, it just popped up all these players. So I could just like go into any of these. Bam, some kid has 36,000 money, $36,000, and he's a reboot of zero. So I'm gonna just give this boy like, you know, he's just gonna randomly play the game and he's gonna be like, what? I'm gonna give him five rebirths. And I'm actually, you know what? I'll just give him 10, just for the heck of it. Give him 10 rebirths and I'm just gonna give him $100,000, all right? So this kid now has this much stuff and you can just click save. Boom. I saved it. So there you go. Now, if you want to just get rid of this stuff, so there's a versions too, which is awesome. But like I said, um, I can go out of this. I can go to place. If you want to, yeah, you got to be careful and make sure that like, you know what you're changing. But like I said, these values, you just go inside. And when you find a value like this, this is probably going to say like top spent, top this, whatever, whatever. Just change it to zero and click that save button. And I think you're done. And then hit you got to hit publish, of course. But boom, this kid's about to be rich because of me. So yeah, um, as simple as that, you guys. Um, that's like all I wanted to tell you. It's a little simple tutorial. And um, yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed it. Just super simple. Um, 
that's about it you guys uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the little tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one feel free to make sure to subscribe Bye bye